Listeria monocytogenes is a well-known foodborne pathogen that can infect both humans and animals. Its characteristics make it a unique model in infection biology. Indeed, it can survive and grow in a wide range of conditions and can cross different host barriers. Infection typically starts via the ingestion of food contaminated with listeria. Once in the intestine, the bacterium may invade different regions of the intestinal epithelium, such as the payer's patches or, preferentially, the intestinal villi. Listeria targets either the tip of the villi, where apoptotic cells are extruded, or, more commonly, lateral goblet cells, cells specialized in mucus secretion. Crossing of the intestinal barrier starts by the interaction of the bacterial protein internalin with E. cadherin, a human-specific receptor accessible in the lateral region of these cells. After binding to the cell, the bacterium is internalized, rapidly transcytosed and released in the lamina propria and into the bloodstream. The bacteria then spread to the liver and spleen. It is also possible for listeria to cross the blood-brain barrier and the placental barrier. At the syncytiotropoblast, the bacterium binds to two surface receptors, e cadherin and CMET, via two surface proteins, internalin and internalin B, respectively allowing traversal of the placental barrier and infection of the otherwise protected fetus. At the level of infected organs, Listeria has the powerful ability to alter host cell physiology before it enters. The bacterium starts this process by secreting the toxin Listeriolysin O or LLO. This toxin creates pores in host membranes through which ions pass in or out. This disruption of the ion balance promotes bacterial entry by compromising some internal processes and organelles. Mitochondria are such organelles. They form a highly dynamic network, constantly undergoing fission and fusion. However, when influenced by now abundant calcium ions, fission becomes dominant. This transient fragmenting of the mitochondria appears beneficial for infection. Disruption of the host ion balanced by LLO also indirectly influences processes inside the nucleus. DNA compaction and thus accessibility of the transcription machinery is regulated by histone post-translational modifications. By altering these histone modifications, Listeria interferes with expression of host genes involved in immune responses. In addition to histone dephosphorylation, LLO can alter other post-transitional modifications, such as sumoylation. UBC9, a critical enzyme of this pathway, is degraded in response to LLO leading to an impairment of host sumoylation and an alteration of several host protein activities, including transcription factors. By all these processes, the bacterium can modulate host cell functions before its entry. As previously said, the bacterium binds to the receptors E. cadherin and CMET on the cell membrane and triggers cytoskeletal rearrangements, leading to internalization into the cytoplasm. Once inside the cell, the bacterium secretes LLO and phospholipases to rupture the membrane of the internalization vacuole. It also modifies its surface and becomes resistant to the cell's inner defenses, such as autophagy. It then multiplies, populates its host, and secretes virulence factors, such as INLC or LNTA, that compromise distinct cellular functions. LNTA, for example, is translocated to the nucleus, where it targets BAHD1, a host cell complex that interacts with the DNA and compacts it, 
therefore repressing gene expression. When LNTA interacts with BAHT1, the complex is released, allowing expression of genes such as interferon-stimulated genes. Inside cells, the bacterium covers one of its poles with ACT A, a bacterial factor that recruits small actin filaments from which other actin filaments rapidly grow to form the distinct comet tail of the moving bacteria. The actin propelled movement of the bacterium enables it to push the cell membrane into that of a neighboring cell. The double membrane vacuole is again ruptured by the release of LLO and bacterial phospholipases, thereby spreading the infection to the neighboring cell. In response to bacterial infection, cells of the host immune system, such as neutrophils, are attracted. They can destroy infected cells and bacteria and control the spread of infection. With the help of adaptive immunity, bacteria will be totally eliminated. In immunocompromised individuals, however, it may lead to the most severe symptoms of listeriosis. In three decades, owing to multidisciplinary approaches, including genomics, listeria has become one of the best models in infection biology, as well as in cell biology and fundamental microbiology.